Hi folks, Vitaly here from HelpingHandAffiliate.com. In this video, I'm going to be addressing the new Google Link Spam update that recently came out and basically how to adjust to it if you're uh, in the yellow or the red category of people of sites that are at risk of being hit by this update and what you need to do to be in the green. Um, the first thing that I want to say is uh, my experience and the information that I'm giving you about this particular subject comes from three sources. The first one is the official Google page which talks about this update which I will be linking to underneath this video for your own reference. I do recommend reading that. The second thing is my own personal SEO experience and though my channel isn't really geared towards SEO because I do have a lot of websites that rank organically on Google and I do engage in affiliate marketing on those websites, this update does affect me so I do have to kind of make this video to uh, you know, adhere to that. And the third thing is, and most importantly, um, I took a lot of information from people that are much better at the SEO game than I am. I do have good experience with this, but there are levels to this stuff, and these people in particular know a lot more about the SEO game than I do, so I have direct contact with them, and I'm very fortunate because these people know the correct way to adjust to these Google updates and basically stay in the green, and they've been right again and again and again, so whenever these updates come out, um, besides my own experience, I do also talk to these people, and they're from a program called Wealthy Affiliate. They provide courses on how to create your own successful SEO site. I will also be leaving a link to that particular program which you can try for free underneath this video. But the point is, I talk to these people, they help sort my paranoia and uh, panic out when it comes to this kind of stuff. And so all of this stuff that I just shared with you, I gather to give you the information about this update and what you need to do. So that being said, let me move on to the next part of this video, which is what exactly is this update all about? What's this Google link spam thing? Uh, do you have to be worried about it? Are you in the green? Are you in the yellow in terms of risk? Or are you in the red of being penalized for, for this update? So. The first thing to note is that for websites that engage in SEO, this particular update affects two components of your website. Number one, if you have affiliate links on your website, you basically have to ID them from this point forward, including previous ones that you have all across your site, with what's known as a rel equals sponsored thing. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I'll be showing you how to actually make that change in this video, so if that doesn't make any sense to you, it's okay. It's actually a lot easier to do than you think. The second thing that this update affects is people who engage in guest blog posting. So if you have a website and somebody comes to your website and says, hey, can I write my own guest blog post? And you let them and they write their own post and it's published on your website and it links back to another website of theirs, which isn't yours. That's called guest blog posting. And uh, that's what this update also affects. And if you are having guest blog posts on your website, you now have to label every external link that goes to from, from the guest blog post to the person's site that's not yours as a rel equals no follow, okay? So those are the two new things that you have to do. Basically, it takes external links, which are affiliate links or guest blog post links that go to another site outside of yours and just mark them appropriately with whatever identity they go by, whether it's an affiliate link or a guest blog post link. Now, in terms of how to actually do that, I'm gonna show you a couple of options that are available to get you started, and this should pretty much fill in every gap that's available. Now, depending on how big your site is and how many links you have on your site that are affiliate links, might make this either a fast process or an extremely long and difficult process. In my case, it was a long process, but you know what? To stay on the safe side, I had to go through this, and you might have to do that as well, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So, first things first. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go through your website, every single page and every single post and every place that has an affiliate link, I'm gonna start with the, start off with that one for this update, you're gonna to have to mark it as a sponsored link. And here's how this looks. For reference, I'm gonna to go to one of my posts right here. This is a big post that I have and there's a, all the links here are affiliate links. So let me just give you an example. Let's say that I take one of uh, let's see, let me go here. It's a really long post. I forgot to stay on page. Okay, see where it says join it today? This is an affiliate link. So let's say that this I need to identify as a sponsored link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this button over here where it says insert edit link. Then this is gonna pop out. And by the way, this is a WordPress website and most websites have this available today. But if you have an HTML website or something that doesn't give you these options, I'm gonna show you a workaround to do this as well. But staying on point. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna click on this right gear where it says link options, and see where it says add rel equals sponsored to link? 
make sure this is checked. I generally always make sure all of my links open in a new window. Just that this is just good for SEO in general. So I leave this checked. This add uh, rel equals no follow. This is going to be for guest blog posts. But if you have an affiliate link, just make sure this is the most important one that you need to check. Add equals rel sponsored. So once it's checked, you can click on update. So now it's properly marked. Now, if you have an image like I have over here, this is a screenshot with an affiliate link. You're going to want to do the same thing. A lot of people are going to click on this. This is not going to show you what you need to do, what you what you need to do once you select this button what uh, this image in this case click on insert edit link then click on this gear again and again this is going to pop out make sure this third one over here is selected okay so that's how you make sure that all of your affiliate links are uh, marked with the rel equals no sponsor so you're going to want to go through your website all the pages all the posts all the images in those posts all, all across your website and if you have banners as well and make sure you do this because this is important the more of these you fill in the better it's going to be for the safety of your website to not get hit negatively by this update it's annoying it's, it might take you a while but you're going to want to do that now second thing if you have comments on your post like this one over here has 800 plus comments sometimes what I do with comments and it's good for SEO is I will externally link these comments to another site so this one right here this person left an organic comment I took one of the words that they did and I and they made this an affiliate link so what you can do if you want to make this an affiliate link but make sure that it adheres to the new Google policies you click on quick edit and over here uh, well I marked it with the HTML option I'll be showing you that in a moment but let's say that this right here wealthy affiliate I'm gonna click on link and again this is gonna pop out now if I you know my, my affiliate link.com whatever this is I'm just gonna mark add rel equals sponsor so I'm gonna click it like this click it like this and I usually mark it no follow just to be safe on the on, on uh, for this kind of thing I'm gonna click on add link but in my case I'm gonna click on X because I don't want this to be a link that's how you do it for comments as well and pretty much the option that I just showed you that's pretty pretty much gonna help you out with like most of the situations that you have on your website now you might find yourself in a situation where this particular screen does not pop out in that case you have to resort to uh, the second option which is basically adding the rel equals sponsored through uh, an HTML code and uh, I'm gonna show you it quickly right here but let's say I'm on this comment I click on quick edit let's say that I click on this and this link option is not available for whatever reason this option right here See where it says rel equals sponsor? This I manually added in. So now the word wealthy affiliate has my affiliate link, which is right here, but it's also marked as rel equals sponsor, okay? So when people click on this, this is a sponsored thing. Now, uh, in terms of the actual code that you need to copy and paste, I'm gonna leave a link below to this website, which is my website, and it's gonna give you this code, which is right over here, here it is. Um, you're gonna you can copy and paste this one for your website and just use it as reference so here you're gonna put in your affiliate link then you're just gonna have the rel sponsored and then here it's gonna be the anchor text which is whatever you want uh, this to be so it could be a click here now or something like that this is gonna be what the what, what what it looks like on the front end but on the back end it's gonna link to this which is your affiliate link but it's gonna be marked as rel sponsored so you're gonna want to look at that if that's you know the thing now there's a third option available which is there's plugins that kind of just uh, scan your whole site see wherever you have external links um, many of which could probably be affiliate links and it'll 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 label that as well I'm not a big fan of that right now because I'm, I'm kind of experimenting with one plugin and it seems to work on the front end but then when I checked it it didn't really work so I'm not gonna give you any advice on that I do explain about that in the article that I linked to below this video so if you want to do that do it but the safest bet is to use the uh, the option that I showed you where you select uh, the text you click on the button you click on the gear and you just literally checkbox that uh, thing with the rel equals sponsored or if you have an HTML site you can use the code that I have on my uh, po blog post over here to use that on your website as well so the more of these affiliate links that you um, adjust on your website and properly mark the better it's going to be and if you have a guest post remember it's actually real simple all you have to do is uh, just select uh, one of your affiliate links, uh, not your affiliate links, let's say that this right here is a guest blog post link. You're going to click on this gear over here, 
click on this and just mark open a new window and then this one add rel equals no follow so that's how you adjust to the guest blog post and this one rel equals sponsored is how you adjust to the affiliate links for this new update so with that said i'm going to leave a couple of links below this particular youtube video if you're on it right now uh the first one is going to be to uh the uh, wealthy affiliate program that teaches you the correct way to create websites so if you're new if anything that i just mentioned to you is kind of like like what the hell is he talking about i don't understand any of this stuff i'm screwed this and this and that you're probably a beginner to seo so you want to get good training on that which is why this program is going to help you with it you can start it for free and if you want to upgrade later that's totally cool that's the site that was made that that has training on how to do SEO the way that I learned it and the experts that I talked about earlier in this video that taught me everything that I know about this stuff they created this training and I follow that to create the websites that I do the second link that I'm gonna that I'm gonna leave underneath this video is gonna be to this particular blog post that I wrote on this subject so you're welcome to you to, to use this uh, particular uh, link over here for your own thing for reference and you can read more about this information about other options that are available it's just further information to help you along with this and the third link that I'm gonna leave is going to be to uh, the Google official site that talks about this update there might be a fourth one because I, I did talk to one of my SEO friends and he's probably gonna be making a webinar which if he does I'm gonna get a special link that you can get free access to that webinar usually it's a paid uh, thing and wealthy affiliate but I'm gonna be able to get it for you for free I think <laughs> I'm not sure about that but I, I will definitely be updating that link in the description of this video and in the pinned comment for future reference but with that said thanks so much for watching this video I am personally not a fan of this Google update uh, because I do think that it kind of um, uh, punishes affiliate uh, people that do affiliate marketing unnecessarily uh, I, you know, I don't want to get off into too much of a rant because this video is already too long, but the whole idea that they're making uh, affiliate links classified as sponsored doesn't really make sense to me because if somebody tell, if, if I tell someone that I'm sponsored, the thing that people are thinking is, oh, you're being paid to promote something, which is technically what affiliate linking is, but I don't actually get paid until I make the sale. So it's commission work that so what I'm trying to say is the dynamic is different and I, I'm personally not a fan of this stuff the way it was rolled out too so if you're pissed off about this I can totally see why uh, but you know I showed you how to adjust to this depending on the circumstances now is this a foolproof thing I, I'll never say that it's hundred percent guaranteed I'm just showing you what I'm personally doing based on other SEO experts that have been telling me what to do about this stuff as well so if I have egg on my face in the next two weeks after this update is rolled out and my uh, impressions and clicks take a hit I will let you know about that but um, I'm fairly confident with the advice that I have from these guys that and, and the advice that literally Google's telling people to adjust to is probably the one that is best to follow to stay on the right track so with that said once again hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions you're more than welcome to do it either on this video or on this website that uh, I link to which is over here and so uh, with that said thanks for watching for the third time and I hope you have a great day take care